Hey, don't tell me you're busy right now. Hey, sorry, I'm on the train at the moment. I don't want to disturb anyone else on here. What's up? I see. I wanted to tell you this on the phone, better yet, in person. I guess I have no choice but to message you instead. I have a big announcement that I want you to know. Big announcement? What's going on? You aren't going to believe it. I've actually managed to get a promotion. Are you serious? That's great! Congratulations! Pretty good, right? Not only that, considering the way the promotion system works in my company, this is actually a very impressive feat. Usually, you get your promotion step by step, moving one rung up the ladder. I managed to actually skip two steps. Can you ever find someone more capable than me? You gotta admit, this is pretty rare. I remember talking about something like that in the past. You've done really well for yourself, Tom. And skipping a whole two steps? You're gonna breeze your way to the top. I know, I know. Look, it's not every day you come across a hard worker like me. It was only natural something like this would happen sooner or later. And from the company's standpoint, this is a very good decision on their half. I am now in a position to even further do utilize my skills. Honestly, congratulations. You've worked hard and it's finally paying off. Obviously, you're the one that received the promotion, so you must be the happiest from hearing this. But when I hear about your success, I feel like it's my success too. I'm really happy to be hearing something like this. Right, so how should we celebrate this? Anything you want to do? Celebration? Of course! A promotion is a big deal. I want to celebrate your success. What do you think? Maybe a nice extravagant dinner on the richer side of town? Come on, tell me where you want to go. I know. How about we get your favorite? It's been a while since we've had French cuisine, right? Hey, not bad. But I'm sorry to say, Kathleen, I'm not all that keen on eating with you today. Thanks for the suggestion to celebrate. I'll find an appropriate way to enjoy my success without you. I'm sorry, what? Look, I've thought about this for quite some time now. The longer I keep it inside, the more it's going to hurt when I finally tell you. So, I'm going to let it out right now. Oh my god, what is going on? Just tell me and I'll do my best to not get upset about it. Okay, I guess I have no choice now. Kathleen, don't you think it's about time you started going on a diet? Huh? What is this all of a sudden? I don't look that different from the time we first met. Why would you say I need to go on a diet? You were fine with this type of body from the very beginning. Well, that is true. You don't look very different from how you were in the beginning. I'll give you that much. Then again, in light of recent events, I think it's about time you become a woman worthy of a man that gets this many promotions. Don't you realize? I'm not just an average guy now. I deserve a woman worthy of my status. What the hell? Is this really my partner Tom talking right now? Baby, I'm in the elite of the elite now. Take a look at the other guys. They all have a hot broad walking beside them. If I'm making big strides in life, you gotta make big strides too. It's time you change your style to something more high class. What do you think? If you don't, we're gonna look really out of place together. Come on, all I'm asking of you is to put in a bit more effort. These days, it's quite normal for a woman to be on a diet. Okay, I see where you're coming from now. But come on, Tom, is it seriously that important to you? You have to admit I'm still a cute girl. Don't talk to me like I'm ugly. I'm sure this is all in your head, and no one actually cares about this type of thing. I'll forgive you once, but don't say something like that again, okay? Are you seriously trying to brush this off? This is very important. I take it very seriously. Don't say something so stupid like that to me again. I've grinded and suffered to be in the position that I am in now. I want you to put in the exact same amount of effort that I've been putting in. Do you get it now? I don't want to hear any more excuses about it. Your diet starts from tomorrow and that's that. Tom, come on, don't say these things. 
Anyway, going back to what we were talking about... Huh? Don't tell me, not after what I've just told you to do. Um, yeah, the celebration? Even if you say these mean, hurtful things, I still want to support you and celebrate your success. I'll start the diet, you have my word. But at least have a celebration first. Don't worry about the bill, I'll cover it. It is actually amazing that you're telling me this right now. I actually feel like I'm talking to a pig walking on two legs. Tom, seriously, stop with the remarks. Girls are really sensitive to that type of name calling. If this is what it takes to make you go on a diet, then I'll call you every name there is in the book. This is just another excuse for you to pig out on a nice, high-class meal. Don't think I don't see what you're doing. That's not true and you know it. I'm honestly really proud of your success, Tom. As your girlfriend, it's natural for me to want to celebrate these types of things. Well, let's strike a deal then, shall we? I've put in the hours to put myself in this position, and you're going to put in the hours to put yourself in a better body. Once you turn into a woman that a man likes to be seen with, we'll have a double celebration for my promotion and your image change. But I'm telling you now, until that happens, you can forget about eating a beautiful dinner at a French restaurant. Fine. I guess that's the way it has to be. I'll start from tomorrow. I'll throw out all the unhealthy food that I've stored in the fridge up until this point. I'll also monitor my BMI. Good girl. That's what I like to hear. Just remember you're doing this for your brilliant boyfriend. That'll be good motivation for you to lose weight. Also, let me make it clear. It's not just about your body. I want you to care about the clothes you're wearing around the house. I want you to exuberate feminine energy. My clothes as well? I've always thought I had a cute style that doesn't stand out too much. Is it that bad? When we first started, you always used to compliment me on my clothes. Then again, I guess I didn't buy my clothes from a high-end retailer. I'll flick through some magazines and see what's trending at the moment. That would be a great start. From the very beginning, you told me you don't have much interest in fashion and what makes a woman look good. I accepted it at the time, but things are different now. As your partner changes, you have to change with them. So, I want you to put your head into it. I don't want you thinking about anything else apart from becoming the wife worthy of marrying me. Wow, yes, your highness. I'll exert all my efforts to please you. Look, Tom, no matter what, I'll always love you. If this is what it takes to be with you, I'll gladly become the woman you want me to be. <laughs> Stop treating it like it's some great feat you're gonna achieve. It shouldn't be that hard to choose clothes that are stylish. Huh? I mean, I am a beginner, so it'll take a little bit of time in the study for me to choose the right clothes. You know I don't go clothes shopping much. Don't think about it too much. All you have to do is go to the shops and ask the assistant what would look good on you. Don't go out there experimenting on your own. It's gonna be a waste of time and money. Just leave it to the pros and you'll get the best results without wasting any time or money. I guess you're right. I was a little bit excited to try out some things on my own, but they'll be able to choose something that suits me in an instant. Okay, thanks for the advice. I'll have a chat to a couple of ladies to see what looks good. I'm excited about this. Ugh, I don't know. I just feel like your heart really isn't into this. Maybe you don't actually see where I'm coming from. If you did, you would understand exactly what you had to do. Man, I was excited about my promotion, but now I'm just in a poor, fell mood. Thanks a lot. What? What do you mean? Look, let's face it. There's a reason why you aren't interested in wearing nice clothes all the time. It's not really your fault either. It's your disgusting upbringing. You've grown up in a household of men. What girl can learn any womanly charm in an environment like that? To make matters worse, you've had a long history of being single and enduring a poor lifestyle. Thinking about clothes is just the last thing on your mind when you just want to eat. Let's face it, I'm a guy. I can't teach you how to be a proper woman. Only another woman can do that. I'm beginning to wonder if you're just a lost cause. You can't fix the bad defects of being raised by a single parent. Wait just a minute, that's too far. Okay. Fine, my dad was the only one that could raise me. 
but it's not like it came from some broken down family. He properly put food on the table and bought me the clothes I needed. So what's the problem here? Sure, I've never really cared about clothes up until this point, but don't pin that on my dad. It's just something unique to me. Even if I grew up in a family that had a mother, I still probably wouldn't have much interest in clothing. Gee, I didn't think you'd get so defensive about your dad. I knew mother complexes existed, but I didn't think a dad one existed too. Come on, don't try and hide it. I know you still call him daddy instead of dad. By the way, you are married to me now. I'm the only man you should be thinking about. Don't lie and say you weren't poor. Only a girl that didn't have her needs met would be poor. Stop that! I've told you we never had an issue financially. We were a quaint, humble family just like everyone else. <laughs> say what you want. I know a liar when I see one. I've met a lot of people in my lifetime, and all the ones with a single parent strayed from the right path. Even I would if I was growing up in that circumstance. You can't say that. Even among the people that grew up with both parents, you get some bad apples from time to time. So I don't care who you've met. They might have done the wrong thing and put themselves in a bad position, but I'm not one of them. So, you can stop talking about my upbringing and my father, thank you. Don't talk about matters you don't know anything about. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. You gotta admit it, though. You've striked the jackpot by marrying me. Bet you never thought you'd be marrying a wealthy man around the time we first met. You're welcome, by the way. Seeing as you're now marrying one of the elite, you better start behaving that way too. I'm telling you now because if you start making mistakes later on the track, it'll already be too late. I'll cut the blame for it. Yes, your highness. Anything to please you. Um, what are these mistakes you were so worried I'm going to be making? Soon enough, I'll start making a name for myself. When that happens, my superiors and my subordinates will see me in public. This type of thing happens a lot, you know? Don't pass it off as fantasy. If you aren't dressed in the right way or say something that puts them in a bad mood, I'm going to suffer the consequences later. Oh, I see. So that's the type of thing you're thinking about? You care about our image outside of the house. Don't worry, baby. I'll be sure to work on my mannerisms as well. I'm already quite polite, so I don't think they'd have an issue with me in the first place. Now that's what I like to hear. Okay, thanks for taking up so much of my time. I'm going to go out for drinks celebrating my new promotion. You're going to be my driver tonight when things get out of hand. Don't you dare go to sleep. Wait, what? After all that, you're going to go out and celebrate? Well, duh. I've just had a promotion for Pete's sake. It's company tradition to celebrate after something like that. Anyway, gotta go. See you later. Bye. You turned me down to go celebrate with your buddies? I have to admit that sting is quite a bit. Kathleen, it's work. I can't say no even if I wanted to. Even so... Oh, I don't know. I guess everyone would have been planning something like that for quite some time now. It would be rude to turn them down. I'll stay up a little later than usual, but please don't stay out for too long. Don't worry about it. See you later. What a day. Could it get any worse than this? What the hell do you think you're doing? Cut that stuff out already. You've made an absolute mess of everything. Um, okay, I'm sorry. Surely if you were thinking properly about things, something like this would never happen. I'm a rich man that goes to expensive restaurants. My wife should be emanating with the aura that she's been to these restaurants too. Even if you haven't been, just lie. What's that saying? Fake it till you make it? When you dilly-dally at the menu thinking about what to eat, the people around you will pick up on things like that. Honestly, I haven't felt embarrassment like this in a long time. Look, I said I'm sorry. Did I really stick out that much? I don't think it was that bad, to be honest. It's the first time I've been placed in that type of situation. I was a little bit nervous, but I didn't think I was so nervous that people would notice it. 
Kathleen, you have no idea how obvious it was. That whole restaurant was zoned in on us. When you wear that stupid look on your face saying that you don't know what you're doing, everyone can see right through it. The staff could tell in an instant. Not only that, the other patrons around us were looking down on you. Right. I'm really sorry about it. It's my first time being in a place like that. I honestly didn't know what to do. I promise the next time I'll be more confident and make my decisions swiftly. <laughs> do you really think there's going to be a next time? I've got some bad news for you, girl. I think that would be the last time I take you to a place like that. I'm not risking you embarrassing me again. Tom, stop. That stuff really hurts. Don't talk to your wife like this. But I've been thinking, ever since you got promoted, you've been going to expensive restaurants like this. You're even wearing watches that cost thousands of dollars. Are you really earning significantly more since the promotion? I'm just worried you're not going overboard with all this. Oh, you have a good eye. Did you notice my new Rolex? Quite a snazzy little item, don't you think? Huh? So that's what a Rolex looks like. I'm not too knowledgeable about watches. Oh yeah, baby. Any real powerful man should be slapping one of these on his wrist. But it's not all for charity. This is just a step in me getting the next promotion. Anytime I need to look at the time, I look at this little beauty and she'll remind me to work hard at whatever task I'm engaged in. It's a constant reminder to me to work hard. I guess that kind of makes sense. You get it? Then I don't want to hear any more complaints about it. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying you have to be careful with your money. You don't want to go overboard with it. Today when I was looking at the price on the register of the items you were buying, my eyeballs almost came out of their sockets. That's not possible. Your eyeballs are connected by muscles that prevent something like that from ever happening. Are you really that stupid? Why did I ever expect you to conduct yourself appropriately at that restaurant? You're hopeless. Why am I wasting my time with this? I mean, I wasn't serious about it. It was just a joke or maybe even a figure of speech. Yeah, whatever you say, flying eyeballs. What were you talking about anyway? Oh yeah, that's right. The watch. Yeah, the watch. Look, I think there's nothing wrong with investing in yourself. But take it easy, won't you? I know with a lot of money coming in, it's easy to get carried away. I'm just asking you to settle down a little bit. I wouldn't be a good wife letting you run around like that. Don't you forget your place, woman. Who do you think you are ordering me around? What do you understand about anything? Are you getting angry at me? I'm only looking out for your interests. You may call yourself an ordinary girl, but at the end of the day, you are nothing but a defective item coming from a single parent family. Why the hell would I listen to what you have to say? A child could give me better advice than whatever garbage comes out of your mouth. Think about it. What would happen if I listened to a poor person like you all the time? Where would I end up listening to bad advice? All that would happen is you dragging me back into the mud you came from. Do you want to bring me down after I've come so far? Tom, be real about this. You know something like that would never happen. I'm just giving you normal advice. But that's beside the point. Even if I was poor, that doesn't mean I have poor judgment. I'd really appreciate it if you stop bringing up my past. Not only is it not true, but it's disrespectful to me and my dad. Maybe you should stop giving me reason to bring it up. No matter what I say about it, all I'm doing is speaking the truth. A poor person like you will never see where I'm coming from. I don't know why I bother conversing with you. When will you wake up and just accept the facts? Your pretending to be smart despite your background isn't funny anymore. Give it a break already. Listen to yourself. What type of person would make a joke about something like this? I'm 100% serious when I say I want you to stop those remarks. It's not funny, it's just cruel. Do we have to argue about it again? Just give it up already. I'm sorry, Tom. Whatever. If we stop wasting time talking about this, I'll accept that I was poor. Does that make you happy? Well, it's about time. You took long enough. I am telling you now, the sooner you accept who you were, the easier life will be from this point on. You feel it, right? A heavy weight of your chest? 
Mm, maybe. I'm not sure. All I feel is ridicule for being someone that didn't have a lot of income in her family. Oh, don't get me wrong. I'm ridiculing you for it. No doubt about that. It's comical someone of your upbringing managed to snag a hot item like me. So, you are making fun of me. Why did I expect anything else? Why do you keep doing this? Tell me. This is way too much abuse for one day. Why should I tell you anything? Oh, alright. I'm super busy at work recently. The stress is making the veins in my head pop. I need some way to vent my emotions. What the hell? That's got nothing to do with you. I can understand venting a little bit to me, but you've been non-stop putting me down since your promotion. If you're that annoyed about it, why don't you put yourself in a position where no one can make fun of you? Fine, you grew up in a less than suitable household. That will affect you for the rest of your life and hiding it won't help. But you have to find a way to improve yourself. You should be putting in 10 times the amount of effort a normal person does to better themselves. Once you do that, maybe you can call yourself my equal. Until then, you're still a rat that I could squash with my boot. That's the most horrible thing anyone has ever said to me. I'm saying this for your own good. <laughs> anyway, who knows? Maybe you'll take this and go home to cry. Or you'll have the guts to do something about it. Hey, are you listening? Where did you go? You really are a sad disappointment. You know that, right? Huh? What have I done now? I thought you stopped laying into me since last time. I shouldn't have to tell you. You should already know what you've done wrong. What do you have to say for yourself? You haven't made one little push to try and improve yourself. Tell me, how has the diet been treating you? Honestly, it's embarrassing to say you are on my level. I've been trying. Why are you saying these things? You've seen me on the treadmill every day now. Admit it, you aren't taking your diet seriously and your fashion sense is still the bland vanilla I've put up with since the day we met. How long do you think I'll put up with it before I decide to discard you? I've had it up to here with your tardiness. Stop insulting me, it doesn't help. If you really want results, you have to encourage me more positively. Just so you know, I haven't been slacking. I've been doing the right thing this whole time. I've been working hard, just like you asked. Give me a break. People that work hard don't pat themselves on the back. Their hard work is recognized by the people around them. And as an outside observer, I'm telling you that you aren't working hard enough. Where do you get off using that attitude with me anyways? You starting to rebel against me? I'm not trying to argue with you. You're the one saying stupid things. All I'm saying is I've been doing my best. Maybe it's not up to your standards, fine. But you could at least recognize that I am trying. Besides, this is different from working hard in the workplace. Beauty isn't something you work hard for. It requires something else than just gritting your teeth and doing it. I don't want to listen to you crying about being recognized. You haven't put in enough effort to be recognized. Instead of saying, yes, Tom, I'll try my best from this point on, you try to turn the tables on me and make me feel bad about encouraging you to do better. All that shows me is that you haven't been trying hard in the first place. You don't care enough about it. Stop being so mean about it. I'm doing my best whether or not you say anything about it. But you realize all the time you put me down, it just makes me lose motivation? Don't forget I'm your wife. You're not my personal trainer. You don't treat your lover this way. You've changed a lot since you got your promotion and I don't like it at all. What's so wrong with that? People live and they learn. I've said it once and I'll say it again. You don't have the right to tell me what I can and can't do. Just remember I'm doing you a favor by continuing to be married to you. I could get rid of you at any time. I'm sorry, did you just say favor? Are we not mutually interested in each other? That's right. I don't need you. I could get a different woman any day I want. If you want my money that much, you better do what I say. And if you don't do what I say, you can consider this marriage ended way before you can say another comment about my spending habits. 
Do you get the picture now? You know what? I understand exactly how things are going to go from this point on. My eyes are open now. I'm done talking to you. <laughs> Your eyes are open? You suddenly realize how right I am and how wrong you are? Nope, not that at all. Thank you for reminding me that this marriage isn't mandatory. If you are that set on divorcing me, why don't you go and do it? To be honest, I'd rather be that way instead. This marriage is a joke to me at this point. Do you have any idea what that means? <laughs> I understand perfectly. That means we'll be getting a divorce. Are you fine with that? No issues here. I'm not just some boyfriend you can break up with. There's legal ramifications after a divorce. No, I get it. I'm accepting the consequences. <laughs> Are you for real right now? All that cake has been messing with your head. Sleep on it and get back to me. What's the matter? You were the one that proposed we could get a divorce in the first place. To tell the truth, you've always been a little bit arrogant, even before your promotion. Even so, I've accepted that's just part of who you are. Because I love you, I put up with that arrogance from time to time. But then, ever since you got that promotion, you've taken it way too far. You're like some foul, disgusting creature that thinks everyone else is below him. And I don't date ugly little monsters. Do me a favor and get the divorce. I don't see any positive aspects of continuing this marriage. <laughs> You're such an idiot. You're just gonna throw away the opportunity to live a wealthy life with me? Are you insane? Which reminds me, after all the financial prosperity I provided you, you're gonna just sit there and complain to me about your marriage? What a joke. A marriage isn't always about the money. Loving your partner is far more important than digits in your bank account. Look, I'm really tired of talking about this. I don't care what I'm sacrificing by divorcing you. I'll move on and create a different life for myself. Oh my god, you're actually serious about this? Deadly serious. To tell the truth, I've never had any interest in rich people in the first place. I couldn't care less if you were a billionaire. The foundation of a good marriage isn't money. It's something more basic that you seem to not be able to grasp. Don't act all righteous. Money is an integral part of a good marriage. For someone that crawled out of the slums, you show a lot of disrespect towards money. Get over yourself already. I couldn't care less about money. You're the one that likes to rave on about it all the time. If I ever had an issue financially, I could rely on my dad. He has a lot more money than you've been earning this whole time. <laughs> As if I'd believe that. Some guy in a trailer earning more than me. I'm not joking. I'm serious about this. Seeing as I'm already financially secure, I decided that I should find a partner that has a good personality. No matter who they are, they can earn below average wage for all I care. I just wanted a guy with a great heart. After our long years of marriage, I finally see your true colors, Tom. Words can't express how disappointed I am in you. Slow it down a moment here. What do you mean by your dad being wealthy? That's impossible. <laughs> did you actually forget? I gave you a pretty good explanation of what he did on our first date. Come on, as if I'm going to remember saying something that far in the past. What I do remember is you telling me that he stays at home all day and doesn't go to work. I was thinking he was some lazy bum or a freelancer at best. Looks like you were under the wrong impression. My dad owns his own company. The reason why he doesn't go to work all day is because he doesn't have to. What the hell? Was he actually... Which means you're the daughter of a wealthy company president? Well, that's not what most people know me as, but I guess that's one of my titles. This is just too good. Of course you would try and hide something like this from me. If your dad is a company president, just say so in the first place. You had plenty of times to speak up about it, right? Why the hell didn't you tell me? I've told you from the very beginning. Don't sit there and blame me for not telling you. You're the one that wasn't listening on our first date. I kept telling you I wasn't poor, over and over again. 
I didn't exactly lie. I just didn't want to say that I was actually rich. If I told you for a second time that my dad was a company president, I didn't see any good coming out of it, so kept quiet about it. Imagine all the drama we could have avoided if you had said something in the first place. But it's fine. No hard feelings. I'll forgive you for lying to your husband. Here's to our continued married life. I see no reason to get divorced now. Let's move on and keep building our future together. <laughs> what the hell happened to you? That's a quick change in attitude. Did you hit your head in the last five seconds? This must be some sort of short-term memory loss. Let me remind you then. We are currently deciding to get a divorce. We aren't negotiating on how to continue our marriage. There's no chance of that happening, buddy. Look, forget about all of that. It was just a little quarrel between two married people. It happens all the time. We just have to persist and keep moving forward. Anyway, you don't want to divorce me. Think about how much money you would lose. I'm going to take over my company. Just wait. Until I do, I'll have to keep busting my ass at work. <laughs> take over your company? Those are some big words coming from a small man. I guess hearing about my dad being a company president was music to your ears. Sorry, but like I said, I don't date nasty creatures. I'll be telling my dad what has happened. Bye! What the? Hey, get back here! Pick up the damn phone! Okay, can you please pick up the phone already? What do you want? I'd appreciate it if you'd stop calling me. It's annoying. Look, hear me out. What would you say if I said I want to get back together? It's been two months. That's more than enough time for wounds to heal. I'm sorry, what? No way you would actually try and ask me that. <laughs> I've told you it's never happening. I despise you. Look, I'm truly sorry about everything that's happened. I got a little bit arrogant and said some mean things. I thought about the horrible things I told you, and I regret every word of them. All right. This is the first time I ever heard an apology coming from you. What dimension am I living in? Surely this isn't the world I've been living in up until now. The Tom I know would never apologize even when he knew he was wrong. He'd always give some stupid retort and turn the tables back on to me. This is real. I'm really apologizing to you. You have to believe me. I thought about this for a long time. I'm sorry, Kathleen. Yep, I'm sure you are. No apology is good enough for the way you talk to me. But if it means you'll leave me alone, I'll accept it. Now, can you go away? Just talking with you is making me sick. No, that's not it. Kathleen, I really want you to consider us getting back together. My answer is no. I'm telling you I'd never consider it. Not even in a million years. Really? That's a shame. I don't like this. It seems like you have more to ask than just reconciling with me. Well, you're not wrong about that. <laughs> There's something else I want to ask you. I'm not sure how I should phrase it, though. Well, would you look at that. What's it going to be this time? Just so you know, I was half joking when I said that before. I didn't know you'd actually need something else from me. I don't want to hear the answer, but I guess I was the one that asked the question. What do you want? Did you get yourself into some trouble? Thanks for hearing me out. I know I don't deserve it after everything I said. It's as much as you can expect. I'm wondering if you can lend me some money. Oh boy, I'm back to talking about money with you. I'm not going to like what I hear. I got a little bit over my head ever since that promotion. Well, a little bit is an under-exaggeration. I know you told me to lay off the purchases, but I just couldn't help myself. Ever since we broke up, there's been no one putting me in check. I've fallen into a troublesome little bit of debt. Un- Believable. <laughs> Who was it again? 
The one that said you can go home and cry or grit your teeth and persist through. You're right, that was me. I'm sorry I said something so stupid. At least now you realize it was stupid. Well, if you keep it up at work, you'll be able to make that money back in no time. Keep it up! Okay, so you're not going to lend me any money? Do you realize how desperate I am right now? Of course not. You're not getting a cent from me. I don't even want to talk to you, let alone lend you money. Why not? Your dad owns a company, right? He should have bucket loads of money. What inconvenience would it cause you? God, I wish you never knew that. I gotta keep that a secret. Come on, you gotta help me out here. Who knows what will happen to me? I don't care what my father is. The idea of giving you money is making me sick. I hate giving out loans to people. It's not teaching you a good lesson. Come on, don't say that. I'm your husband. The company I work for is saying that there's someone coming to collect my debt. I'm getting really scared. Please help me. You're my only hope. Looks like you're in some pickle. Just how did you rack up this debt in the first place? If you've been gambling, don't even bother trying to ask me for help. No, nothing like that. I've been using a lot of credit cards. Wherever I could loan money from, I've been able to get it. I haven't paid back the amount I spent on them. Whew, that was a close call. Good thing I got rid of you when I did. You've fallen as low as low can get. Good job, buddy. Have a little sympathy for me. We used to be lovers. Used to be? Now you're nothing but a stranger to me. Don't you see? Once the debt collector comes to get this money, I'm going to lose my position at the company. It'll be the end of me. You could only expect as much. To me, you're just another stranger with a problem. It's got nothing to do with me. In the meantime, you still have the job, right? Just buckle down and make more money. Stop harassing me already. Look, saying I still have the job is a bit of a stretch now. Oh no. What do you mean? Don't tell me you've already quit the job. No, not that. Ever since the promotion, I've gotten way ahead of myself. And not just with the money. I've been a little bit risky with how I act around the workplace. What exactly have you done? I got arrogant. My boss heard about how I was treating my subordinates, and he wasn't happy about that. He's called me into his office tomorrow. Who knows what will happen? Could be a demotion, or worse, I lose my job altogether. Wow. There goes your career down the toilet. This is what you get. I told you time and time again not to get ahead of yourself. As a fellow adult, I'm embarrassed. You better learn from this lesson. You can't talk to people the way you do. I have. I've thought about it long and hard. Even so, my everyday lifestyle is really difficult right now. I need your help. Find it in your heart to forgive me. Come back to me, please, Kathleen. Yeah, I'm going to have to say no to that. Your sob story hasn't moved me. I don't feel sorry for you in the slightest. Please, just this once. I said that all I would do is listen, right? And let's be real, if I wasn't the daughter of a company president, you wouldn't come running back to me about how much you miss me. You're wrong. That's not true. You've taught me a lesson, too. I can't just be telling everyone I'm a daughter of a company president. I have to be a little bit more careful from this point on. If I don't, every guy and his mother will be asking for a handout. I told you it's not like that. I genuinely want to get back together with you. To think that I was already disappointed in you insulting me all the time. You were actually disrespecting your subordinates as well? Does getting a promotion warrant such cruel behavior? You're the worst, you know that? Like I said, I really regret what I did. By the way, I'm currently with Jennifer and Jake. I've told them about your little debt. What the hell? That was private information. That's my best friend and his wife. Are you really getting a kick out of making fun of me? This isn't funny. Well, to be honest, it wasn't intentional. But I'll admit it is kind of funny. They're quite surprised at what you've done. They've been speaking quite badly about you. They aren't interested in being your friend anymore. 
They know you'll come to them next, asking for money. Why the hell did you tell them in the first place? That's way too unfair on me considering the situation I'm in. First my finances, and now you want my social life ruined too? You get it now? You get what you put in. When you're being cruel to others, they're gonna feed it right back to you. With all the hurtful things you've spat at me, it makes sense that something like this happens to you. Well, good luck from this point on. Try not to degrade anyone if you know what's best for you. Hold on, don't go yet. This isn't the end, is it? What about the money? C can we at least reconcile? Kathleen, I need you. Tom wasn't able to pay off his debt, and the debt collector paid a kind visit to his workplace. The day afterwards, he was nowhere to be seen. He can run as much as he wants, they'll catch him eventually. As for me, I told everything that happened with Tom to my father. He's been scolding me for having such poor judgment in men. He's got a point, I didn't choose the best guy this time around. I'll do my best for my second husband though. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. If you enjoyed it, please remember to click the like button. See you in the next video.